For centuries, people left old worlds for a new life in Wisconsin. They faced unfamiliar landscapes and languages, learned to establish farms and communities, and blended the old with the new. Welcome to the world they created. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. What better way to understand how our ancestors lived than to get up close and personal with some of the spaces and activities they encountered in the 18 and 1900s. So here at Old World, we use heritage horses, cattle, pigs, sheep, and chickens. What's nice is working with heritage animals are these are the animals that they would have had back in the 1800s. This is our team of oxen at Old World. They are actually a brown Swiss red Holstein cross. They are now nine years old. Pete is the darker one directly behind me. Charlie is on the background. But just a very well-trained team. They're only working from their yoke. We have no reins. Everything is done by voice command. While men were busy in the fields, Women were hard at work in the front of the house. Well, the garden here at the 1816s Pomeranian House, it was designed with being a more of a kitchen garden, and it was located in front of the home. The woman of the house usually is the one who took care of the garden areas, and she spent most of her time out in the garden. They did a mixture of different types of plants, ornamental plants, flowers and such for decorating, as well as for medicinal purposes, the herbs, for cooking also too and they had some edibles like strawberries. Of course, being from Pomerania and um, what we now know as Germany, the root crops, so they would, of course, bring potatoes, carrots, rutabagas, turnips, and such. Here at Old World, Wisconsin, we show that in many different ways, and for children to see that and connect with that, then they make that connection with nature and see how important nature is. I think it just instills in them more of a sense of pride in what they can do for their environment. Most of the produce and goods grown in these gardens are stored and used in special programming, such as the Old World Christmas event. This little piece of garden gold, however, gets plucked and used right away. Sam, these are uh, some hops that you have here. Where do you guys get these from? So these are hops that we actually grow on site just around the corner from here. The hops were just picked a few weeks ago, so they're still nice and fresh. And it's pretty convenient that you guys have everything you need right oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah, out here in Wisconsin, hops basically grow like weeds. What do you know about beer? Um, I know it tastes really good, and I know that it's fermented, right? Yep, exactly. So, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so there are four basic ingredients that go into beer. Water and yeast are the things you don't see here. Okay. And the other two ingredients is what we have here, barley and hops. So when barley starts out, it's like this, just a grain here. Okay. But that's not very usable. So what we have to do is what we call malting it. It's basically sprouting the grains to make the sugars in there more accessible. The steps were really interesting to see how they had to go through a lot of work just to get this one product from going from one barrel to the next and a cooling bin and whatnot and adding the different hops to change the flavor. But uh, there was a lot of work, but in the end, it was a great product that they came out with. That so was a great educational process and I got to try beer in the end, so bonus. Check out behind the scenes photos from our cruise time at Old World Wisconsin on Instagram. And be sure to tag snapshots from your own travels with the hashtag DiscoverWisconsin.